So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem seating arrangement. So you are given an, an integer denoting the number of people who needs to be seated and a list of m integer seats where rep zero represents a vacant seat and one represent an already occupied seat. So find whether all n people can find a seat provided that no two people can sit next to each other. So let's understand the problem. So what we are given, we are given the data like n is equal to number of seat, m is equal to uh, like n is equal to number of people and m is number of seat. Zero represent vacant seat, one represent occupied seat. So the aim is to find that no two people can occupy same mean seats which are next to each other. So we are given an example test case. Let's understand with an example test case. Like n is equals to 2, m is equals to 7. That means we have 7 number of people and we have to make make 2 people sit to uh, here such that, such that they are not next to each other. So how can we do this? Because I know if one has taken this position, so this position cannot be taken. Obviously, this position can also not be taken. Now, one have taken this position, so no one can sit here. So now this also taken. Now, we can see only this and this position are left. So we have two positions. So we'll say two positions are available where we can make the people sit and we can see two is here. So done. Now let's see this test case 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Now you can see this position, this position, obviously not taken, this position not taken. Now will all position will be available? No. Again, I can make see people here. Then other people can sit here, not here. Obviously. Now secondly, I can make people sit here. Or other case can be, other case can be one people can sit here. Now, in this position, this position skipped. Now, one people can sit here. So, so how to approach this question? Approach is direct brute force. So, let's understand with an example test case. So, let me append some zeros ahead in the given test case. And let's understand. What is my aim? My aim is to give the seats to the people so that no two people can sit next to each other. So, let's say I give this seat to the people. Now this pe this seat cannot be given. Similarly, I will give this seat to the people. Now I can say this seat cannot be taken. Okay. Now obviously if this seat this seat also not be taken because because this seat is uh, closer to one. So now I can take this seat. Now obviously this seat cannot be taken and this seat is already taken. So I will count one, two, three. So three positions are available. And if I want two position, I am done. I am done. That means what I want, I want at least two position. If I'm getting more than equal to two position, my work is done. Now, how should I start from zero? How should I count it? Like just you have to brute force. Start from the first zero and take this one. Take this one. How? Check whether here and here one is available. No. If not available, take this one. Now come to next. Now I will give this to one. Okay. Now, when I come to this zero, I will say, okay, add is zero. But beyond is one, that means this seat is taken or it has already been given to us as taken. So I will say this position cannot be taken, just move ahead. So now I will check zero, zero, yes. So take this seat, I will make this one. Okay, count will become two now. Initially it was one. Okay, for this it was one, for this it is now two. Now I will come to here. I will say this seat has one already. That means this is already taken, I can't take it. When I come to here, when I was here, then I can check one here, zero here, not taken. I come to here, this is already taken. I come here, this is one, this is zero. No, this is zero. Yes, both closer seat are not taken. Just take this count will become three. Position, with this will become one. So now this will become zero, one, one, not taken. One, zero, obviously it is one, cannot be taken, just then. Similarly, when I try run this test case, so for this answer is yes, because three seats are available, I want only two seats. Now. When I come to here, now when I give this seat to here, let's say I make this true. Why? I can't make this seat here. Why? Because obviously, obviously, if I give this one, this is one already, that means this seat is taken. Now I come to this one, I will say, okay, both sides are zero, but I am already taken. You can't take me. Now I come to zero. This is one and this is nothing. So I will say, okay, just go. So answer will be zero, but I want one seat at least. That means answer is so this is a direct brute force approach that we have to follow. Let's code up the approach. Now, initially we have count is equals to zero. That means zero seats are available. Now I will start the loop from zero to n. 
okay obesity lamp because arrays of m size you know okay now now what i have i have uh firstly left is equals to false and right is equals to false that means left and right currently are not valid okay now i will check if i is equals to zero because i can't go to minus so i have to check it's explicitly and otherwise if it is not equal to zero one two three so i can check by going back if c of i minus one is equals to zero so i will say left is equals to true similarly five is equals to m minus one i can't go to right obviously c of i plus one is equals to zero i will say right is equals to true so now now what will be the final condition final condition will be if c of i is equal to equal to zero that means current seat is vacant because i can't take the seat which is already taken okay two person can't sit in one seat okay now i will say if it is and left and right are not taken left is true or you can say right if left and right okay so if it is all thing available so i will say count plus plus and take this seat because if i not take this seat if i not mark this seat as taken the next time when zero comes it will compare previous it will say zero no because the seat is taken i can't take this again so in this way all seats are taken now add then you have to check if number of seats that are available to be taken are greater than is equal to n that means there at least n so if there at least n that means true otherwise false let's compile in the code and check whether it's working fine yes so let's submit the code so yes it's totally working fine so this was all about code if you like the explanation please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day